Today, I want to change the conversation to board and leadership effectiveness in these turbulent times. While discussion about vision, strategy, and business purpose are always critical in the C-suite and boardroom, I've observed some significant gaps over the pandemic and now merging into a potential major economic downturn in how boards and senior leadership teams are running the race, so to speak. First, I want to reflect back to 20th century leadership icon Stephen Covey's principle of sharpen the saw and still that down a bit more into today's context. I believe many leadership teams and boards are so intensely focused on what they have to do and the results they need to achieve, and rightly so, that they are letting some individual and team capabilities get deferred or lost at an individual level. The whole person concept is essential, especially as we age and remain under intense stress and scrutiny. In breaking down Cubby's sharpen the saw principle, I'm adding a bit of nuance and three essential components. First, mental and intellectual rigor. Continuous learning and development of intellectual horsepower and knowledge. Second, physical health and conditioning. Maintaining your physical health and strength at varied stages in life to include diet, exercise, and rest. And finally, spiritual reflection and evolution. Regardless of your faith or belief system, taking a time out daily to reflect, pray, or meditate to start and end your day, even for a few minutes to calm your body and your mind. If I'm sounding a bit out there to you, don't give up quite yet. We are all running a marathon in our organizations today, often at a sprinter's pace. This first session is going to focus on mental and intellectual rigor, in a sense, how to exercise and maintain your mental sharpness. No matter where you are on your journey, there are some basic rules of thumb that apply to all of us especially as we continue to age. My hope is that you are already applying a large cross-section of these concepts and ideas, and we'll pick up maybe one or two additive ideas that help you and your colleagues avoid the military term of combat fatigue or combat ineffective, meaning you're still there in person, but you can't execute the mission. First, as a number of studies have shown, continuous learners and maintainers of intellectual horsepower use very different types of study, reading, and development to continue that growth. Spending even 15 or 20 minutes a day in recreational reading outside of your daily business inputs can stimulate your thinking and your creative mental energy. Second, pursuing some type of technically based hobby, such as gardening, painting, cooking, or even creative writing, can exercise left and right brain functionality that depend on your work and input balance. They stimulate your physical and spiritual angles as well. Third, mental and physical fatigue are directly correlated and maintaining that mental shape will impact your physical well-being and vice versa. Make it a point to take daily timeouts of 10 to 15 minutes to clear your mind and come to closure and shelve whatever you're engaged in. Refocus on what you have in front of you and declutter your mind to move on to the next issue you tackle. If you have time to take a quick walk or just get up and move around for a few minutes, this will help you move to that next issue. Fourth, write down a couple of bullet point notes on major issues or decisions you're tackling to come back to with a fresh set of eyes if you know you aren't finished yet. Keeping an inventory of these in a notebook or on your tablet or PC can spur your thinking on how to tackle a problem anew the next time you're dealing with it. None of these are original thoughts or ideas I'm bringing to you today. They are a set of ideas I've gathered in observing some of the most capable leaders in business and government, as well as being mentored over the past 35 years of my career. May you continue to grow and develop in your leadership journey as a board member or senior executive, or as an aspiring future leader. Have an awesome day.